Let's talk Gonzaga. The Bulldogs have been impressive, including a win over Arizona State recently. It looks a little better after what Arizona State did last night. All right, Gonzaga favored by 27 and a half over UMass Lowell tonight. Total is 165. All right, Jeff Nadu, start our discussion. Uh, we've gotten a look at Gonzaga a couple of times. The wipeout of Baylor on the opening night, uh, et cetera. Uh, thoughts here on this one and on that line? Yeah, I, I put this on the sheet because I considered playing it, and then I, I kind of you know woke up this morning where we have to get the games in, and, and I just couldn't find anything that had kind of value at this point. Stuff had moved. I think to me, though, I, I considered the over in this game uh, just because I think this is such a tough trip for Lowell. Uh, Lowell's had a nice team the last couple of years under Pat Duquette. They have a bunch of kids that can score the basketball. They don't turn it over. They value possessions, and they make free throws, which is something you want when you're looking for an over where you have a high-end opponent. You just ask that the team can score enough points. Look, Gonzaga's probably going to get to 95 in this game. This is, to me, right up there with the best offenses in the country. They always are, always will be. Uh, the outlet ability of this team, just get out and run. They have kids that could just hit in the mid-range. They're super good on offense, and they shouldn't have any trouble because Lowell's going to play the pace that Gonzaga wants to play with. Lowell wants to play fast as well. My question is, can Lowell get to 65, 70 points? Something told me this was like a 96, 74 type of game. Um, I wanted to get to the over. It just... I was hoping for like 159, 160. It's 165. Um, but I think this is a good over spot. Gonzaga, not off a real good defensive performance, but I wonder how good they are defensively. Uh, Arizona State kind of did what they wanted. And Lowell has a couple of kids that can score the basketball. So I could thought about the over. I just didn't get there with it. Again, uh, interesting for Gonzaga. They got that win over Arizona State following up the Baylor win. Meanwhile, you talk about quality of competition. All right, so UMass Lowell's first game, and I had to double take, was with Rivier, not River. Of course, my name is Reeves, which a lot of people confuse with Rivers or Rivas or whatever. But Rivier, R-I-V-I-E-R, uh, was the first opponent for UMass Lowell. They beat them 115 to 59. All right, we've heard of St. Peter's. They beat St. Peter's in the second game. This ain't Rivier and St. Peter's, and they're going all the way out to Spokane to play them at the Kennel tonight. Corby, a thought, as Jeff mentioned on the total, is that number about right, 165, something like that? Yeah, it seems high, right? But these two teams play pace. It's indicative of two points. Um, this would be a favorite or nothing for me. Like, this is a Lowell team that, like, we've kind of seen – for a minute, get a lot of praise. 128th per Ken Palm. But like when you play this type of tempo, um, I think it's either going to be a really close game or a blowout. You're not going to worry as much about the the in between. So um, it, this was a game that didn't really cross my radar. But um, I, I'm excited to see Gonzaga. This has been a team who, for years, has just been like stagnant at best. Like we see the exact same performances. Obviously, if I'm a college, I'm I'm not upset with going to the second round every single year and being a top five team. But uh, at some point, you gotta you gotta make the step up. They look really good this year, so this seems like a blowout game. But more important, more important. Listen, it's a Friday. I uh, don't really care to talk too much to Gonzaga. I'm about to put Kevin to some work. So, uh, I, you know, I don't have the chat on my phone. I don't have the chat pulled up. I have one computer screen. I see I see three comments in a row that were okay. UNA money line is a lock. UA, UA, uh, UNA plus 10. I saw when Jeff was talking about the American game. We saw the same thing. High point is, is for sure going to be a win. Kevin, shoot us to the uh, records real quick. You, you got the records uh, to pop up? Yeah, the uh, our there. records. Our handicapping just, just records. Leave just leave this on a screen real quick. Oh, it doesn't have the chat record. I forgot about that. We took that off because it was so bad. Believe. We didn't want it on here. So I believe the believe chat is either believe. two. I believe the chat's either two and four or two and five. So far this 20 season. 20 and 10, TJ, is, let's see, 20 and then you would divide 30. It's pretty good, I would say. So yeah. we'll continue doing what we're doing. About 67%. Um, you, hey, right. hey, it's, again, it's a two-way market. We're going to lose a lot of bets. Um, I hope that you lose these bets, chat, whoever whoever takes uh, UNA plus 10, because I have <laughs> I have a significant amount of money on Stanford. But I will tell you, it, it's not a game you want to play. Like We're not here to argue with chat about like offs. Like, we have the best you. chat in the game. Here's what um, we'll say. And, There's a reason – we're doing this show. Some of you are watching <laughs> and, it. And they're watching the show. By the way, I stand Chats corrected. Off the Grand six. Canyon loss, the chat is three and six, is what they're telling us. Interesting for Gonzaga. They have San Diego State uh, next. Game. And then uh, Long Beach uh, after that. Let's see how they do tonight. I'm curious. I have not gotten a look at this version in Braden Huff. He's averaging 18 a game. How about Nimhart is averaging 11 assists in the first two games? 
for what it's worth. Do they stay on the gas tonight for that total as well for Gonzaga and UMass Lowell? That's a six local time game at the kennel tonight. I'm looking for...